Hey guys, got Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to live stream mobile games. There are two main ways of live streaming your mobile games to platforms such as Twitch, YouTube Gaming, or Mixer. One method is to stream it straight from your mobile device, so from your tablet or your phone, using a live streaming app such as the Streamlabs app, for example. And the other method is to run a virtual mobile device on your computer, so you can live stream using uh, live streaming programs such as OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. We are going to focus on the second method. So we're going to use a computer to stream our mobile games today. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how to stream mobile games on mobile, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. But let's go. Now, the advantage of streaming mobile games on your computer is basically all the advantages that you get with streaming from a computer. Basically, you can have your webcam, you can have your overlays, animated overlays, you can have alerts, you can have all the widgets and all the fancy bells and whistles that PC live streaming provides. So today we're going to be using a program called Bluestacks. All you have to do is go to bluestacks.com here and then you'll see one of those big buttons that say download Bluestacks. Now I already downloaded it and installed it so I'm going to spare you this part is just double click on the installer, choose where you want to install it, click OK, <laughs> then open it. So we're going to open it here or is it Bluestacks? It takes a couple, it takes about a minute to open up depending on the performance of your computer. And this is what it looks like when it's open. It's basically kind of like a tablet on your computer. So you have your main app, Google Play. And uh, what you can do is click on there once. And if it's your first time using it, it will ask you to log in. So right now I'm logging in with my account. All you have to do is put your email and your password. And it's just like your phone pretty much if you don't have a google account i suggest creating one because you will need one and as long as you're not downloading premium apps everything is free okay so you will like you will be able to play free apps if you're playing free apps if you want to play paid games you're gonna have to pay i didn't think i had to say that but <laughs> anyways so from here what you can do is go ahead and choose whatever app you want to play and uh, you can just search for one. I already searched for like Fruit Ninja. And then once it finds the app over here, it will say install. You install it, it's gonna download it for a couple seconds, and then you'll be able to open it. Cool thing is that you have those tabs, you can close this tab, and then you, you will have all your installed app as like kind of like your, des your desktop. Let's open Fruit Ninja, and then I'm gonna show you how to get that into Streamlabs OBS. And then here, as you can see, we have uh, Fruit Ninja open. Now I'm going to show you how to add it in uh, Streamlabs OBS. So here we are in Streamlabs OBS. This is the program that I use to live stream. And this is I'm logged in with my YouTube account. Anyways, I'm going to go to my game scene pretty much. So which is I call full screen. And then here is where my game usually uh, would be. So what I'm going to do to capture blue stacks is I'm going to go find window capture. So I click on the plus to add a source. Then I'm going to find window capture and I'm going to add a window capture. You can name it whatever you want. Gameplay, blue stacks you can add the source. And now I'm going to find the specific window that I want to capture. In this case, it's going to be blue stacks. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to have blue stacks. So blue stacks.exe, the program, not the Chrome thing. And uh, there we go. It's right here. I could drag it to make it fit the screen like that or there's also an option in streamlabs obs which is pretty cool you can right click on it go to transform make sure you're right clicking on the right thing of course and then fit the screen boom now it's on top of everything because i just added it so i'm just gonna drag it in the list and drag it all the way down here under my camera so my camera is, is on top of it okay now as you can see it doesn't fit perfectly so what i can do is actually hold alt on my keyboard and then drag the corners for for everything that I don't want to show. So the side panel and the top panel, I don't want that to show. And now I can manually just adjust it on screen. There you go. And now it fits almost like pretty much perfectly. And that's how easy it is to display some mobile games in Streamlabs OBS. So as you can see here, everything is already set up. My alerts will probably be working so you can have alerts and, and all of that. Let's go with this one so if i had a donation it would appear over there and you can play the game 
Uh, there are multiple ways to play the game. I don't want to go over everything, depending on which game you're playing. If it's a two-hand, I don't, I don't know that yet because I don't use this program, but I just installed it and figured out the basics just to make a tutorial to show you guys. So if I were to play uh, Fruit Ninja, I only have one screen. I would be playing here and everything would just be appearing there. And that's it. That's how you would live stream a mobile game from your computer to a platform such as Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube. If you guys are looking for some dope overlays for your Twitch channel or your YouTube channel, your Mixer channel, I have some on gumroad.com slash level. A lot of them are very cheap and a lot of them are actually free. If you haven't started using Streamlabs OBS yet, please consider downloading it. I will have an affiliate link in the description. If you guys want to know what gear I use, I also have Amazon affiliate links in the description. So uh, check them out. You can also join my Discord if you have more questions about live streaming. We are a community of like 200 plus live streamers and we can all help each other. Don't always wait for me to answer your questions when there are 200 plus other live streamers that can also help you. So please join the Discord and I'll see you there. But in the meantime, thank you so, so much guys for watching watching my video i'm really happy to be back and i have a bunch of new projects coming in i can't wait to share them with you go out there make me proud again level 